All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to find the area of a triangle. So we have here a triangle, and this triangle has a base of 6 and a height of 4. Now it happens to say that the area is 12 square units, so let's figure out how we get that. Well, first thing I do is I think of this triangle as really being, if I were to double that triangle, I get a rectangle. So really, this triangle is half of a rectangle. And we know that the area of a rectangle is the number of square units inside the rectangle. A nice shortcut for finding that, the, the, and the area of the rectangle, is to do 6 times 4, because there are 6 unit squares along the base, 4 unit squares along the side, 6 times 4 is 24. So we know how we have the area of the rectangle, which is 24, but the triangle is only half of that. So 24 divided by 2 gives us 12. So the area of this triangle is 12 square units. So even though it might not look like it, in this triangle right here, there are 12 of these unit squares inside that triangle. All right, now let's find the area of this triangle. Well, we can see that the area is 20 square units, but let's see if we can figure out why. So we have a triangle with a base of 10 square units, and then, I mean, a, a base of 10 units going across, and the height is 4. Now, you don't measure the height along this slanted side. You measure the height going straight up and down. So the height of this triangle is 4. And we like to think of this triangle as really half of a parallelogram. So we know that the area of a parallelogram is base times height, just like a rectangle. So the base of this uh, parallelogram is 10 units. The height of this parallelogram is 4 units. So 10 times 4 is 40. But we don't want the whole parallelogram. We only want half of the parallelogram. So we're going to have to take that 40 and divide by 2. And sure enough, there's our 20 square units. So the area of this triangle is 20 square units because 10 times 4 is 40. But then we have to cut it in half and we get 20 square units. All right, in this triangle, we have a base of 9, we have a height of 5, and we've learned that the formula for the area of a triangle is base times height, and then divide by 2. And so if we take a look at that, we get this nice looking, we double it, we get this nice looking parallelogram. And we know that the area of a parallelogram is the formula 9 times 5 base times height. So 9 times 5 is 45, but that gives us the area of the whole parallelogram. And we don't want the whole parallelogram, we only want the triangle. So we're going to take that 45 and divide by 2, and 90, 9 times 5 is 45, divide by 2 gives us 22 and a half. So the area of this triangle is 22 and, and a half units squared. So there's 22 and a half little squares inside this triangle. 